Next Beer Review is back again with another episode of As The Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike Dan. What are we drinking? Mike, that lovely bottle you see in front of us. It is lovely. Comes straight Indeed. from the depths of the FLX cellar because we've had it and kind of <laughs> forgot about it. We bought it. Uh, A lot of beers I, down there. Yeah. They, they can get easily get pushed <laughs> to the back. So this came out in September... Of 2023. Ooh, she's an oldie. Uh, September 13th. Oh, wait, no, it's only and oh, yeah, we're, we're what? Six months. Back. Six, no. October, November, December, January. Eh, about five, six months. Whatever Anyways, you want to say. Uh, so right this is from the Roar Rock Brewing Company out of Rochester, New York. And this is part of their Parting Glass series. And this is the 2023 Dark Matter. It's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout. And it was uh, with <clears throat> chocolate and coffee aged in bourbon barrels. So, uh, cacao nibs. Go! And the coffee is Fuego Bear Claw Coffee. Fuego! And then it was aged three months in Kentucky bourbon barrels. Uh, three months. Three months. That's it. Yeah, we'll they see. They were just like, we need those barrels for something else, yeah. guys. Uh, 9.2 ABV. And uh, yeah, let's get Dan. into it. What do you like your your barrel aged beers aged at? Is it a is it a healthy three months? No more. Eh, you know. Okay. Um. So we've had part. We've had a few of their. Yeah. Party what was glass. the other one we had? I think it was their Imperial Brown Ale. Or. Okay. Uh, we had that with Joe from the Beer Patrol. Uh, it was okay. We didn't, we didn't really. You knew. I, I don't think we cared for it that much. Yeah, I don't remember us enjoying it. It wasn't a bad beer, but um, just wasn't, you know crazy sure um so yeah i love the label too i love that texture the yeah gorgeous texture gorgeous label. the label it, it, it's sexy it's classic it is i think um so that that is just dark dark brown there is a sliver just a hint of brown on the bottom but a nice creamy khaki colored head on the top. that head is sticking around wow. it's very fluffy it, it almost is. reminds me of like the head on like um like cbs Oh yeah, okay. You know what I mean? CBS yeah, very much so. KBS. It, it looks great. Uh, oh, it, it's kind of sticking, and it's it's looks it looks the part. It looks fluffy. So far, so far we're there. All right, so far we're there. Good nose. Oh, okay. Fresh coffee right there. Fresh, fresh, bitter, dry coffee, dry roasted coffee. It's like they were crushing up. Like you, the whole beans are coffee, right there, and, and you're just, just sitting there smelling it while they're doing it. Yeah, it's like the world's biggest pepper shaker. <laughs> and they got Tell me when to stop. And, and the brewers there, like they're, no, the brewers down here, like the the lackey who's learning how to brew is like, tell me when to stop. Two hours later, he's like, can I just stop now, please? <laughs> you haven't brewed a coffee beer unless you got carpal tunnel. <laughs> uh, decent amount of cacao. cacao. Yeah, I agree. I think it's kind of hanging around in the background. So, kind of with the barrel character back there, because there's like hints of cherry back there. I'm getting a lot of char. A lot of char. Uh, okay, I was going to ask if you were getting any barrel. I'm not. It's the char. Like, if, if that really dark, robust thing beyond the coffee and that yeah. uh, chocolate. It's like there is this oaky char with a slight vanilla aspect to it. Okay, you want to dive in and then. I really do. Maybe yeah. nose it again. We'll yeah, see. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. I was way thinner than I was expecting. <laughs> mm -hmm. 9.2. Mm -hmm. Definitely thin. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying that's a negative yet. We'll see as it kind of develops, but a lot thinner. Um, so, I think the coffee roast takes a little bit of a back seat. Uh, the char from the barrel starts coming forward. Uh, the cacao, that like that dark chocolatey cacao is in there front and center for me at least um with little bits of like almost some raisiny cherry back there nothing's incredibly bombastic or anything but little dry there is this uh so yeah it, it I agree with all your points, but I, I disagree with, I think the coffee is very bombastic. I think that's the most bombastic thing about this. That and the char. Man. It's like charred coffee. Yeah. 
it's fluffy. There's a, definitely the vanilla-esque kind of thing to it. But for me, so the, the mouse feels mm. like it, it's creamy, but it, it's a light creamy. It's yeah, almost yeah. if it's like the zero sugar version of... That's an excellent point. Like, it's a zero sugar version of, like, cream. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like the coffee make cream or whatever. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> the the oak, like, it's definitely a fresh char for me. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a very fresh barrel. Like, um, it doesn't have that old, rich, soaked-in flavor that you get from some of those really, like, two-year barrel aged things. Well, this is great. 9.2. I, I really got a... Uh, the taste is good. If this taste had a, a more voluptuous kind of viscous body to it, mm -hmm. I think this would be slamming out of the park. Even though only aged three months in barrels. It's mm. a real nice, like, uh, smoked peppery meat stick okay. note to it. Like Jack Link's? Yeah. Yeah. You down with a squatch? I think you'd be down with this beer. Oh, wait, is that down with the Squatch? That's a soap, right? The Squatch soap. Is it? I tried it out. Nice soap. It doesn't last long. Oh, uh, like the aroma or whatever? Or like no, a... just the bar itself. Oh, okay. It's gone before you, you like, know it. Okay. You got to use a although, lot. I, and then... Although, you know, it might be better for you. I got a lot more real estate. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyways, yeah, uh, I can see where you get like that kind of jerky mm. kind of thing mm. going on with it. Um, I don't know, man. The body, it's killing it for me. The, yeah, the body is definitely the deterrent. Uh, I, I like, as I'm drinking it, it's opening up more. Uh, the char kind of comes and goes. The cacao comes and goes. Like, all those notes just kind of rotate around. Do you do you think, like, I don't know. So, Rohrbach is very, it's kind of a staple of Rochester. Mm -hmm. It's, like, very accessible. I wonder if it's just not full-on crazy thick, like, because, I don't know, they're more accessible. Like, yeah. Rohrbach at the ball game, Rohrbach Sure. At... Are they trying to make, like, a, a stout with all those 14% barrel-aged stout flavors, but in a more drinkable, I mean, 9.2, a more drinkable stout? Yeah. Good taste. I, I just wish there was more body. Yeah. Um, what do you rate it, Mike? Give it a 3.95. It's so weird. I was thinking three point nine. All right, good beer. Everything's there except the body. Just, I, I want more. Uh, yeah, I just want more a little more heft. Yeah. You know? If this was like twelve, twelve percent, I think the body would be there. I think. I, I which which I wouldn't want because I like it that it's sub ten percent. Okay, but this is insanely drinkable it really is yeah okay okay let's factor this in price point we never bring mm. a price usually we did before we started recording so yeah it's like 11.99 or something like that when you factor that in like ah, that's that's pretty good i'm gonna bump it up to a three three point nine six price point right there 11.99 if you're hankering for a barrel aged beer and you're i don't know at your local Wegmans, this is something to consider for the price point. Because yeah. you figure you're paying what twenty three ninety nine for like a Founders product, sure, the whatever variation of KBS they got mm -hmm. out this month. Because there's like nine million of them at this point. It's growing on me the more I sip it. Yeah, like it's it's a light. I think you said it before. It is a light, creamy nature to it. It's airy. I, th I think the you you said it best. It's accessible. This is an accessible stout. Yeah. Uh, you know what it made me think of it is anytime we do like deep bourbon barrel aged stuff, you're always ah, oh, it's too much barrel, you, too much barrel. Is this better for you having not those pronounced barrel notes, or it's a more fresh barrel? So. Here's the thing. I like a moderate amount of barrel notes. What I don't like is I don't like when the barrel is just... It's like all oak. Just so drying. Like, just stripping the... Okay. Uh, that's what I hate. I'll tell you what. As this is warming... I, I, I'm going to go back to it. This is an accessible stout. Okay. All right. 
It's all fun. right, gang. Uh, down description below, hit up the links and all that stuff. Link sure. tree. Um, We're accessible. Yeah. Do you like Warbach? What do you think? Have you had any of their series? They do like a Scotch Ale. They do Brown Ale. Um, I think they do like a Neapolitan Brown Ale or something like that. Like Neapolitan Sounds ice right. cream Brown Ale. But they have the vanilla porter. Did we do the Scotch Ale? I gotta go back. I gotta if go back. We haven't done the Scotch Ale yet. That's probably not good. We might have to. No, like the Imperial that. Scotch. I don't think we've done any regular Warbach. I, I don't. That's crazy. We're FLX. This is bad. We're, They're we need FLX. To, we need to rectify that. Right. All right, gang. Uh, I like the uh, the Red Wing Ale. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> we've drank a bunch of Rorbach, but just not on the channel. That's something. we got to go back and look. All right, uh, gang. Uh, down in the description below. <laughs> yeah, I already said all this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Wow, we are so white. Ghost. This camera. Something. Woo.